Lionheart, a short play by Louis Catliff. Darkness, Leon is alone. Frank is whistling God Save the Queen, tuneless and getting closer. Come on, you piece of fucking... <laughs> the faint outline of a figure becomes visible, scrabbling in the dark, clank and clatter of metal on wood. A lock clicks. Yes. The door is pushed open. Shit. Leon, 19, pulls a blanket over himself, feigning sleep. The light is switched on. We're in a windowless attic room. A few empty tin cans are strewn around the, and a lot of mould. God save the Queen. Frank, 64, is stood in the doorway, small and intense. He's dressed in army fatigues with a holster at his waist and medal pinned to his chest. He's holding a tray with two tin cans. He limps into the room. <coughs> wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Uh... Oi, oi, upski soldier. What? What is it? Sustenance. Bread and dripping kippers, crispy bacon, two fried eggs, and half a jelly deal for luck. What? Beans. Eat up. What time is it? Eight minutes to twelve. P.M. No, no, midnight. What? Oh my God. Oh my God. Frank busies himself with the tray of food. Eight minutes. 2020 is done in eight minutes. Well, it's closer to seven now. A new year. I can't believe it. It's hardly a shock, Leon. It, it does happen every year. So? The chain around uh, Leon's ankle becomes apparent. So what? You said we could leave. Food's getting cold. When the clock strikes midnight on its flaming fucking colostomy bag of year, we're free. You promised. I think you might be putting words in my mouth. Frank? Finish your dinner. It's a special recipe. I don't want any more of your dang of dusty spam. All right. Snot balls floating in tepid bile and red bone stock, topped with froth smegma. Oi, what's got into you today? Leon, are you there, mate? Leon? It's the new fucking year, Frank. Well, so eat your new fucking year meal. Then we'll watch the fireworks. Outside? <clears throat> Leon takes a mouthful, gags. Oh, the fucking hell. What did you put in this? You don't like it. It's rank. Oh, it's Tabasco. I thought you lot liked spice. Young people, I mean. Leon eats or tries to. Frank toys with his can. The muffled sound of a firework. They've started. Ah, uh, calm down, it ain't the proper ones. You'll know when it's the real deal. They'll set fire to the whole sky, like a rapture, like the Blitz. Oh, no. Oh, what a time that was. You weren't alive in 1940, Frank. 
Ah, my dad was. Frank Sr. was a key member of the air defense team. He was slap bang in the middle of it when it all kicked off, when the Luftwaffe descended on these great green shores. Dad was doing his rounds in Regent's Park, minding his own when the bombs fell. London set alight in an instant. A million windows shattered, tower blocks turned to smoke and rubble, and the zoo. <gasps> Jerry made a direct hit right in the middle of it. What a din that was. Monkeys screeching, parrots squawking, roar and rage. And through it all, he heard a scream, high and wavering. A woman, my old man, set off fast as his ham and eggs could carry him, corner after corner, till he spotted her. Through the tangled smolder, a young gal, about your age, Leon, pinned against the gift shop wall by a great golden lion. The doors had been blown off its cage, and he was livid. The king of the jungle out for blood, being held at bay by a bird with a broom handle. <laughs> My father, Frank Senior, without so much as a quiver, draws his browning eight millimeter, this one right here, and aims it square at his furry, snarling behemoth and puts him down with three bullets straight to the skull. So he shot it. Yep. Point blank. Well, close enough to yank its tail. He shot a line in the back of the head at point blank range while it was distracted? Exactamundo. Your dad sounds like a bitch. What? I'm only saying. How? How dare you? He, he oh. got the lion cross for bravery. Yes. That one right there. Yeah, the very same. I shine it every day and think of him. Ah. I don't care. What? I don't care, Frank, but your dad owed his tin fucking medal. Now, Leon, calm down. Eat your, eat your beans. No, I won't calm down. I won't. I've played nice, Frank. Listen to all your stories again and again, but it's New Year's Eve. I want to go out and get mashed on cheap vodka and grind on a granny and shit on a car and get a misspelled fucking tattoo. I want to live. Well, then finish your food. Fine. Leon devours the rest of his beans. Yours too? Oh, no, don't, no. Leon grabs Frank's beans and eats them as well, gorging and slurping until... <clears throat> there. All clean. Can we please leave this fucking attic now? Leon is standing. The manacle has fallen off. Frank sees. Leon sees that Frank sees. How did you... Frank bolts for the door as fast as he can limp. Leon is faster and grabs him, dragging him back into the room. Your turn now, Frank. Uh, how? Watch my wound. My wound. Shut up. Leon locks Frank's ankle in the manacle. The key. How did you? I took it during a nap this morning. Oh, what nap? I don't have a nap. You drank a half a bottle of gin for breakfast and then passed out in the middle of the room. All that stuff about you sleeping with one eye open, SAS waking sl slumber technique. You were so conked out I could have stuck the key up your arse. Leon, please. I'm gone. No, no, no. You, you can't go. Oh, yeah? Who's going to stop me? Frank reaches for his gun. Right, right. 
You gonna shoot me? If I have to. Try it, please, I beg you. Frank tenses his hand on the stock. He leaves the gun in the holster. Knew it. Please, Leon. It's death out there. Disease and rabid dogs and you don't know what. Lions, tigers, fucking man-eating flamingos patrolling the sky. I saved you. This again. Didn't I, though? I found you stabbed, bleeding out on the side of the road, took you in, nursed you better as the world went batty. Shared my beans with you, my stories. You chained me to the fucking floor for nine months. I gave you a chance to set me free tonight. Benefit of the doubt, God knows why. Well, I was going to, honest. Honesty, let's talk truth for a second, yeah? Ed. Yeah? Leon? You've never served in the army and neither did your dad. I was injured fighting for your freedom. That war wound is a groin strain you picked up during Davina McCall's fit in 15. Your gun is a toy and, and this? Leon launches himself at Frank, tearing the med medal off his lapel. This cushion is... He crumples the medal in his hand. It's fucking tin foil. Jesus. Goodbye, Frank. Leon takes a step towards the door. His legs seize. He clutches his heart, struggling to draw breath. What the f He falls to the floor. I can't, I can't, I can't breathe. I do wish you hadn't <laughs> eaten my dinner. Frank takes out a pack of old Lucky Strike cigarettes, lights it with a zipper, smokes. Tabasco, I mixed it in to mask my other special ingredient. Metatoxin attacks the ticker like nothing on earth. I got it off the dark web for a steal just before all this kicked off. Huh. If I'm honest, I reckon the Tabasco was worse. Hmm. Why? Yeah, I had it timed just right too. We was gonna watch the fireworks before Drifting off together into the great beyond. Brothers in arms. But then you went and scoffed a double dose. Please. Please, Frank. Take, take me outside. I, I want to breathe. Oh. <laughs> Leon coughs his last breaths. Ah, Leon, what to do? What to do? Frank's watch beeps. Oh. He drops his cigarette, crushing it beneath his boot, wipes his eyes. The distant sound of a crowd counting, crowd counting down from ten can be heard. Ten. Nine. Eight. Frank picks up the crumpled Lionheart cross. He smooths it out lovingly and pins it back on his chest. Deep breath. Together with the crowd. Three, two, one. Frank pulls the revolver from his holster, puts it to his head and pulls the trigger. Blackout. Fireworks.
end.